the Up Odyssey, I guess most of you will have heard about this synth and probably many of you have already played it or at least listened to some sounds of it. In this video I'd like to discuss this current um, piece of gear here, which is the Cork reissue of the original Up Odyssey. And um, I especially like to uh, point out the three filters that this version features and um, we'll do a little filter comparison in this video. The original ARP Odyssey is from back in the days of the emerging electronic instruments and plays in the same league as the uh, Minimoog and the MS-20 from Cork. And actually it was Cork who uh, teamed up with David Friend, one of the original inventors of the Odyssey, who um, worked together with Alan Perlman, uh, the founder of ARP Instruments, and created this, uh, this ARP Odyssey as one of the first portable synthesizers. The Korg reissue entered the market in 2015 and is very close to the original. It's uh, shrinked a little bit like Korg did with the MS-20 Mini, but apart from that it's very close to the original Odyssey. Um, inevitably, a few years later, Behringer um, entered the game and published their own a version of the Odyssey which features a sequencer and a reverb and of course it's up to you to decide if this is uh, good or bad. Um, well, my personal opinion is that uh, it's very valuable that Cork really sticks to the original and um, the original Odyssey didn't have a sequencer or a reverb so I really appreciate that. What Korg did is they spent a MIDI support, which is just standard in modern uh, synth, and uh, it's uh, absolutely legit to include this in the Odyssey. Then they spent a drive circuit and this uh, filter selector where you can switch between the three filter versions that the original Odyssey experienced over time. The first filter is a 12 decibel per octave low pass, which was included in the initial Whiteface version of the Odyssey. It's my personal favorite because it's very uh, saturated and powerful and creates very uh, amazing sounds. The second and the third filter are both 24 decibel per octave low pass uh, filters, and um, the second one was included in the black and gold version of the Odyssey, um, but only for a very short time because it was too close to the Moog uh, letter filter and um, ARP had to change it again. And then they came up with the third revision, which was then part of this black and orange Odyssey, which had the highest number of sold units back in the days. Let's jump right in into some sounds and some uh, comparisons between these three filters. And at this point already, thanks for watching and stay tuned. 